Hello, folks, and welcome to Subjective Thoughts. And our comic for today is Usagi of Jimbo, Ice and Snow, Issue 2 by Dark Horse. Now, there is some violence, fighting, killing, demons, and uh, swords in this one. So if you are in any way squeamish, you have been warned. Also, spoilers. All right, here's the team. And let's dive in. So when uh, we left off in issue one, Usagi and his cousin Yokichi were about to be attacked by a, a snow demon lady. That's, uh, that's where we left off. And I thought uh, in issue two, we'll start with that. But no, it starts with the uh, hut with this uh, demon dude and his niece. Uh, the meal, uh, the thing they brought to be cooked, the lizard creature, uh, was, uh, was already cooked. And they're in the hut with the other gang members and they're eating. Uh, the niece offers some to the others, but they're not interested. Uh, they looked a bit horrified at the stew, which makes me wonder if these lizard creatures are Maybe viewed as pets. Like, for, you know, the most people, it would be like eating a cat or a dog, maybe. And just based on their reactions, it looks like it's not an animal you usually eat. Although the niece was quite excited about it. She really likes this kind of stew with the lizard creatures. Okay. She seems to be a lot weirder than she did in the first issue. Uh, okay. Okay. Yes, they're, they're, they're eating, and then um, the demon guy turns around and tells one of the gang members to let them in. And then they hear knocking. Okay, so the first issue, Usagi and Yukichi were attacked by members of a gang, and I was wondering if they're from this gang. Yes, they are. They were sent out to get food, so they go in, and they're like, well, we couldn't find any food, but we... It was, uh, we smell that you've been cooking food. And then one of the ones that's inside says uh, he, he wouldn't want this food. And then they see the demon guy. And one of the ones that returns says, who's this? And then they answer, well, that's our new boss. And he's like, I'm second in command. Being the boss should go down to me. So he grabs his katana and is about to attack demon guy. Demon guy drops his bowl and then uh, attacks him back. It doesn't it just uh, knocks his uh, stick sword in his face. This guy looks like he knocks a few teeth out, but I think that was spit. And then the guy's like, "Okay, I get it. You're you're the new boss. You're the new boss." And then uh, one of the ones that was, that was inside asks, "Wait." Another one asks. Wait, eight of you went out. Why did only five of you come back? And he tells them, well, we encountered two samurai that said they had food and gold. And we tried robbing them, but they killed three of our guys. They were long-eared uh, samurai. And once demon guy hears that, he's like, long ears? And then he, he grabs the, the second in command and uh, grabs his face and then he does something. The guy's like, no, no, please. His eyes turn white. And then the second in command's eyes also turn white. It looks like he just sees into his mind and he sees Usagi. He's like, Usagi. So he tells them, all right, all of you, pack up your things, uh, get your snow caves, get your katanas. We're going after them. And the guy's like, no, no, we're not going anywhere. It's the middle of the night. It's cold and I'm hungry. And then uh, the demon guy looks at him, he's like, oh, okay. Uh, I know, I know, someone, someone else says that, actually. So they put on their uh, snow, uh, snow capes, and they're all ready to go out. I think the niece says, uh, oh, that sounds like fun. She's a weird little girl, or teenager. Oh, they go outside, uh, second in command's like, I'm not going anywhere in this uh, cold. I'm not crazy to follow this madman. He's leaning on the, uh, against the wall of the, the hut. And uh, then demon guy takes his uh, long sword stick and just shoves it through. 
and he uh, it almost looks like he sucks the life force out of him and he falls dead to the ground and demon guy's like okay now we can go then we finally get back to soggy he's fighting the demon lady she's a yuki she she's a snow demon lady so she, uh, she starts attacking, Usagi's fighting her, uh, she knocks him uh, to, the, to the wall of the hut, he drops his katana, and then he grabs one of uh, the snow capes and throws it at her. She says, oh, you must be desperate, but then Yukichi manages somehow to wake up. She already started draining him of life force. That's what she does, she lives in that hut and she drains people to come in of their life force. So, uh, she's about to attack Usagi, but Yukichi saves him by shoving his katana in her back. She turns around angry and she's like, well, I guess uh, I will suck your life force out. Uh, force out. You'll be the first one I, I'll suck out, uh, it seems. Uh, as she's doing that, uh, Usagi quickly grabs a snow cape that fell into the heather, and he throws it at her. Uh, apparently... They put, they rub it in oil so it will keep dry. So it's very flammable. So her hair catches on fire and she runs out of the hut. Usagi watches as she runs away. And then he turns to Yukichi, props him up and gets him to the fire. Uh, he builds up a fire again. Yukichi, Yukichi's drinking something. Usagi tells him, okay, you rest. I will uh, keep an eye out in case she comes back. This poor Yukichi's been, uh, been drained. And we move on to the uh, snow demon lady. She's walking, uh, she falls, she no longer looks like a pretty lady anymore. And she's, uh, she's like, if I don't find any life, life force to suck, I will die on these, on these hills. But then she hears a flute. It was like flute. Ah, where there is a flute, there is life, and life force to uh, to devour or to suck. She gets up again, goes and uh, goes behind the tree, and then she sees demon guy, his niece, and the the whole gang that he's now the boss of. And she's like, "Oh, this is more than uh, I need for my. This is more than my needs." Because of the amount of uh, men she has there. And that's it. To be continued. Alright. Uh, first, uh, the cover. This is the uh, the regular one. My Sten Sakai. I like it. Uh, I have a nice, uh, nice orange here. I think in the camera it looks more yellow. Yeah, the orange really brings out Demon Guy. Who I... Uh, I also read uh, yesterday a uh, one shot where his name was uttered, and from that one shot, it looks like he and Usagi know each other. I, I wonder if he appeared in the previous series, you know, the the old Usagi or Jimbo stuff. I don't know, but yeah, good cover. All right, show you a bit of the art. So that's the yeah, it's, it's, it's Dan Sakai's art. I'm going to show you the first three pages. I've already said I really like his art style. But yeah, good colors. There's the niece. There's the uncle. There's the stew or soup. Let's see. All of them look... You see, they all look pretty horrified, which... I don't know, seems to me it'd be the equivalent of... You watch two, I don't know... They were all human, and they were eating a uh, cat stew or something. You see? I'd imagine if it was just regular meat, they wouldn't be this horrified, right? If it was common to uh, eat these lizard things. The lizard creatures, but I'm, I'm not certain. Hard to tell. You see? Or maybe it's just because uh, they cooked it, and obviously look how scary this motherfucker is. That's not his tongue, by the way. That's part of the soup. And I thought that was like, holy shit, he has, he has the, the Zim tongue. But no, it's just part of the stew. Or soup. Yeah, there we go. I see the, there's the one that came back. That's the second in command guy. The, the ginger. The, the brownish uh, cat, this one.
this guy here. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, so that was the art. Um, as for the story, a good continuation. We got some more fighting. We got to see even more how ruthless uh, Demon Guy is. His, uh, I still remember his name from the one shot. It started with a J. His name was Jai or something. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not certain. Uh, yes, he, he, ooh, he's he's ruthless. That one though. I mean, he just killed the guy for not wanting to go with him. I mean, I doubt he would have tried to fight him, but yeah, he's, he's very merciless. And, uh, I'm still curious what... Okay, so he obviously he knows Usagi, he hates him, and he wants to fight him, probably kill him. And I don't know if, he, if this was... I don't know if it is in the story he was chasing after Usagi or what happened. It seems that way. And I don't know where Usagi and Yukichi are headed still. But yeah, was, we had some good action. Uh, I dug the, the snow lady. I wonder what's going to happen next. Is she going to join uh, with the demon guy? I mean, maybe. They have a common enemy now. Right? Uh, Usagi, uh, uh, well, essentially uh, scared her out of her own uh, hut. I guess it's not really her, her home, sorry. It's more like... She lured strangers in to suck their life force out. If Usagi had woken up, they would have both been dead. So yeah, it would be interesting if uh, Yuki and Demon got joined forces. Well, then he's going to have to give her one of the gang members to feast on. She's getting weaker. But yeah, I, I, I really hope they do join together. And I wonder where Usagi and uh, Yukichi are going to continue to. The next issue, they're gonna find the hut they're in, or will they move uh, move away till then? Three more issues left to this mini series. Uh, I'm very curious where it will go. But yeah, I enjoyed this one. Hope we'll get to learn more about Demon Guy next issue though, as he is pretty cool and a bastard. And I wonder about his niece too. I think I questioned in issue one, she, you know, really his niece or is just a term of endearment. Yeah, it was, uh, the kids would, for instance, say to uh, an older girl or boy, uh, brother, you know, call him brother or sister. Does he actually her uncle or did he just take her with, uh, with him and she just calls him uncle? And what's with the flute? So that's like I was wrong. The flute's not uh, giving him power or moving him to do something. It was just, uh, just a coincidence. And yeah, she plays the flute. Alright, so that is it. Uh, let me know what you thought of the second issue of Ice and Snow. And that is it. Remember, collect what you're passionate about and share it on YouTube. Bye! <laughs>